hi again. Uh, yeah, we're back. Sorry. Um, welcome to the NUFC Fans Forum. It's me, Adam. It's also Ross once again. And Simon, you may have forgotten what we looked like. So, yeah, sorry about that. So, I mean, we could apologise for being away for ages and ages and ages and ages, but really, what's the point? We've only got half an hour on the card. So, are we screwed? No. Um, if not, why does everybody seem to think we are? Is it three defeats in four or two defeats in three? Or I don't think we're screwed. I just think that Rafa's great and everything, but he's a bit stubborn when it comes to like making changes. They do come late in the day. Like 70 days. minutes. I've noticed this. You can't, yeah, we're watching the Blackburn game and we're like, well, the change coming on the hour. It didn't come about 70. It's the persistence minutes? with the two settled defensive yeah. midfielders that gets me. Like We're at home to certain teams. We don't need protection for the back four. Just get one again, more. I, I think that's stubbornness as well. One more attacker on the pitch to. Uh... He just likes his teams to play football though, and you need a, a footballer in centre midfield. I mean, I'm, I'm not worried. We're, play, we're still playing well. We're just the ball's not going in the net. We still is... we still have the highest win percentage in the English football pyramid. Well, you kind of please us. Deloaded, Jordy's can you? Well, exactly. We're deloaded, but we have lost a lot of games. We have lost a lot of games, and a team is absolutely rancid and minging as Blackburn Rovers. No offence, lads. I've just taken six points off of. I know, yeah. It's a bogey team. Everyone's what? got one. Really? Blackburn? Aye. Why? That's our bogey team now, isn't it? But didn't, didn't they, you can't have a new bogey team just off the back of two defeats. It can. No, no. There needs to be track record. It was just crap. Like, both of those performances were undone by bad decisions. Admittedly, we should have scored a lot of goals because we had a lot of chances. And Jack Colback. But Jack Colback, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, is, oh. he is a bad decision. He's oh. lucky he's not a horse. Because, I think he is. Because he would have been taken out the back by now and shot in the head if he was. Turned into glue. You'd be holding your posters up, Ross. He would. Just... That's his least useful, though. That's yeah. his least useful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every cloud, eh? Um, we're starting 2017, and as ever, we're Newcastle fans, so we're, we're quite down on things en masse. Not, maybe it's not us individually. I'm quite chipper. You know, I am you never know more optimistic, yeah. Um, but, so, how come we're mm, second, second top, we'll call it now, rather than just second, Highest percentage in the country. John Joe Shelby's coming back soonish. Two games. Why would why are we all so miserable again? Because Brighton's got a pesky little game in hand, haven't they? So that's always going to be. And there. Reading. We're ahead. by six. Is it six ahead? We're of six, six ahead of I Reading, and they've got a game in hand now. It's not going to look as good when we're three points ahead of them when they win that game. No. It'll be fine. We'll get Torres in. He'll score fifty-three goals, and then we'll go up top of the league. Don't think for many reasons that statement uh, is going to come true. Mostly the Torres. Socrates is signing as well. Is he? Yeah, that's a, a, exactly the same amount of like truth as Fernando Torres. We just made it up. Yes. Yes. Hence, right. Well, okay, fine. We'll skip ahead to transfers then. I was going to talk about Brighton, but we'll come back to that. Who would you have out first of all? Realistically, not just all oh, these. All these players have to go. Who do you think there's a home for and a market for in January that we could conceivably get out the door? Tio you know, it cheeks the obvious one, isn't it? Because he just he's not present. Just don't see who would buy him. We. Who's well, in Spain? Someone in Spain yeah. saying that for less than well, a million? Well, apparently, but... Someone like Osasuna? Maybe. No idea. Just sounds like... It's there's, there's obviously, there'll be teams who are daft enough to take Toyota. He's got that kind of pedigree and probably still got Why that reputation. Why has he not been playing, though? Because he's fit. Sean. He's Shocking. Shocking. Looks at well, I think he's well. got a shocking attitude. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah. He was, dre- he was, by all accounts, <clears throat> from what I've heard, dreadful against Birmingham in the Cup game. Hopeless, I was told. Kept giving the ball away, couldn't win it back, just fouling people, fouling people, getting caught out of position. Well, that's a lack of match practice, that. It just steals something. Tiodi only ever, only ever had good games against the likes of Arsenal, Chelsea, Man U. He's not going to have any of them down The first there, two so. years. After his, after his first two I, years, well, I agree with that. He was fantastic those first two seasons. Yeah. Give the lads some credit, Simon. But I, do, I, used to talking, love him. I used to absolutely love him. We're talking five years ago now, well, yeah. realistically. Yeah. Been hurt before, Ross. Simon. Players turning on us. <laughs> so let's say we can get rid of Tiote. Let's say who else would you have out? If anybody, would you actually get rid of any? Is there any need to lighten the the squad at I this mean, stage? Numbers. We've got, I we've think got we've numbers. Got a, haven't we? I think we've got a fairly small squad for what we need because we play a lot of games. But like, I just don't. I, I don't think Jack Colback should be at Newcastle. But I don't think anybody would buy him. No, not this. Not in this window. Now that Alan Pardew has no job, Paul Dummett's going to be at Newcastle for the rest <laughs> of his life. Um, uh. And that's about it, really. You can't get rid of any of the strikers because... Well, allow me to flip reverse the question then. If we can't conceivably squad. push anybody else. Yes, yeah, um, Who would you allow to leave? Like, if an offer came in for Mitrovic, as has been talked about... I'd get rid of him. You'd let him go? I don't think he's very good. He's a good laugh, isn't he? He's a cracking lad. 
brings a smile to your face, but name me five central defenders he is well and truly beasted. Over well, his now that's, oh, an unfair, well, that's an unfair question because be none of us know the names of any central defenders exactly. in this league. <laughs> so, he's, describe what they look like. He's and then we'll played try and like guess six, six minutes here and there. I don't think it's fair, really. No, but what he's been put in from the start as well, he's just. He should, we've, we've, let's face the facts here. We've spent £13 million on like Shola Ami Obi. He's 22 no. or 23 or something. I don't though. care. He's younger than Perez. So? He should actually he, sell him. But uh, yeah, he's, uh, he needs a finger up his arse, doesn't he? A finger up his arse. A finger up his arse. Well, <laughs> yeah. That's like, <laughs> 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 seven and a half. Like. <laughs> but I, he's just been pathetic, hasn't he? Recently, Perez, he just doesn't seem to put the S in like number. He he's not a number 10. We've said it several oh, times yeah. in these videos. Hey, though, Diarme from deep. That was that was the revelation. We haven't done a video since Diarme's been a good player. Aye. That's how long it's been. Exactly. <laughs> Silence. <sighs> oh, Diarme. Well, he's finally come good after we've slated him on every single one of these. No, but we haven't. In every case, we've said he's bad, but he's not playing in the right position. And we've said if he moves, then he'll probably play well. It's almost like we should be the manager. I know it was against ten men, but who was it against? It was Forest. Forest, yes. I when three, he one, played, three, when they one. played him from deep, he was bloody lovely, wasn't he? He was, yeah. Just dominated everything, didn't he? That's yeah, but when he first started coming into it, when he, said he was finding his feet for the first time, that was in that ten position again. That Wigan game where he did, and I said this at the time, he scored a goal. The goal to Soko was trying to score for five years right. and didn't do once. Where he won the ball, he drove with it, went past a man, gave a nice short, simple pass, took it back, then held off two players, not you two in this scenario, and then just slotted it in nicely. Soko was trying to score that for yeah, he was. four or five seasons, didn't do it once. I know it was Wigan. He had no brain, though. No. I think but Diomi's got a much better brain than him. He's setting the world on like a Tottenham, isn't he? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, we can laugh. Blazing. Mind you, Wijnaldum's starting to come good for Liverpool. I was just My scout's mate says he's been a very good sign. Yeah. But very Cons quiet, supposedly. But we... Um, it's the quietly good. The little, it's, he's yeah. not getting the goals he got for us, but he's doing we had more a, for the team. We had a laugh about Wijnaldum leaving, but with the, our two big calls were that Pardew was going to crash and burn at Palace, yeah. and uh, so, so it was going to be dreadful at Tottenham. So how pleasing it is that both those things... The Wijnaldum happened. thing was like a, a bitter thing. We've still got him oh, in that God, song, yeah. for instance... Sort of. Yeah. He's sort of in that song. He's now got a, a prefix to his involvement. Mm. Which but yeah, song? it's just bitterness. You know, the Rafa Yes. Rafa. Yes. Uh, one way he's been replaced by Vern by certain sections of the club. Has he? The good by sections by certain Vern. sections, do you mean you? Yeah. Just you. How does that <laughs> work? Vern and then you. Oh, would actually. Yeah. Oh, fair. No. I bet nobody would give him credit. They still no. don't. Even when he's playing well. Okay. So, offer comes in for Mick Richard, allow him to go. What We've about got to make one money back, of course. I wouldn't let him go for less than what we paid. Would you get that? Surely. He's only 22, isn't he? 20 or 23. Uh, he's got Somewhere his age on, on his side. I, I think people like Milan I mean, I just have think... got loads of money in no sense. Oh, daft Italian yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, everything he does on the pitch when he comes on, and he's, bah, he does all the crazy things. I think that gives him far too much leeway for a lack of... It's a lack of maturity, Ross. As one would expect of a man of his years, you might say. <laughs> he's 22, he's not 12. I know. He's got he's got the thing going from now that Pistoni had though. Remember when Pistoni broke his leg and then he came back and he was an absolute hero because it was against the mountains he broke his leg. Yes. Do you remember I, that? I just remember the preseason game where he, he bollocks his knee and then that was it. Yeah. Well, so he, I remember he came back Pistone. and people classed him as a hero, like he got a hero's welcome when he was on his crutches going around the pitch. That's what Mitrovic will have with some of our less. Brain, it's not <laughs> full with an emotion with an emotional crutch. It is one there. hell of oh, a gash. Oh, he slashed though, his he? knee open. He cares. A big one though. That was horrible. It was also it was a foul. Like, it was disgusting. Who scored though? I don't know. What did not get given as a foul at the time? Well, no, because it was well, scored. scored. It was right. The, it was I've not the seen the highlights. Yeah. Yeah. I was literally just as the ball went bumbling around just the like, six yard. Like, yard <laughs> but as you'd knee. expect from two championship sides. Who was it? Martin Taylor, goalkeeper. No, that was a joke about. Go on, name the Birmingham goalkeeper. Mike Taylor. <laughs> That's any Birmingham goalkeeper. Who was the old goalkeeper? Um, all right, what about at the back? What if an offer came in for Lascelles? Would you take him? Would no. Him go? no. What if it was silly money? What if we could buy four If it's Chelsea going, oh, we need an English centre half here. Yeah, we're going we're to spunk 20 million on Jamal Lascelles. Then he goes. For 20 million? Why, well, aye. Really? He's worth that because he's English. No, he's no, worth that to Chelsea. Lads, I think English. you've completely he's forgotten not. what the actual market is. Go on for players these days. More, yeah. 20 million is absolutely What's now? the benchmark for a young English centre half these days? Well, that, Name one. John that Hogan. John, he, he was 24, wasn't he? He was crap. That Hogan lad at Brentford or somewhere. What's Dwight Gale? 15 million, I reckon he's going for. Gale's worth 30, then, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. 
Nej, vi skal nok West Ham, hvor er det? Gale. Det er probably 50. Nå, no, no, Hogan. Hogan. West Ham. But apparently Hogan is the top scorer in 2016, like across the whole year. Yeah, but uh, he played in, he's played in League One. No, Brentford, no, Championship. Brentford. Championship. Oh, I still don't know any teams in this. Don't say like, things like that, because we might sign, not. sign Alan Judge from them. Yeah, but I heard that's it. the name that won't go away, the one that's been injured for like a year. He's still injured, I think. Well, yeah, because he absolutely knocked himself. But before that, he was mint, so... Oh, move on to the fun bit then. Who do you want to buy with our massive parachute payment money? Fernando Torres. You want to buy Fernando Torres? No, I think there would be a circus that we we've just don't been, need. We've just been linked with um, Tom Mintz today. Eight Tom Mills. Mintz. And I think Tom Mintz is our equivalent now of Wayne Routledge was can, when we're signed Can either of you two January? say Tom Mintz without thinking it's like Tom Mintz? Like Mintz is in the That's beef product. Absolutely. Quite easily, yeah. Banter that. I can't. Tom Mintz. I can't. Every time I hear it now, I think they say Mintz. Tom Mintz. Anyway, Tom cleverly Mintz. I'd have him. If that one died, apparently I saw it might no, have died still, the other day. Still, still going. going. I think they're waiting for Morgan Schneiderlin. Those that were turning their noses up at the prospect of Tom Cleverly signing. That's ridiculous. That's yeah. disgusting. He's an improvement on what we've got. Therefore, he's a good signing. Yeah. We've the seen last issue with Callback going back. No, oh, well. it's linked to this though. Okay. Is that he makes Isaac Hayden look like a not a good player because? But Hayden has to do his running for him. Exactly. Yeah, Hayden's yeah. suffered and massively from Charlie. Hayden's not that that type of player. So Again, he just Hayden's looks like been, a clogger when he's Hayden's been getting grief lately. I know because it's, and it's good. Yeah, I know. Good, yeah. Got legs, runs with a ball. Are we just emotionally incapable of legs is a bit of a low benchmark. That's you know, the got same. Legs. It's like that famous thing from Bobby Robson's documentary. JJ's got legs, yeah. Dyer's got the pace. That's what he says, isn't it? Oh, I've not seen that. But are we emotionally <laughs> incapable of a, as a fan base of just being content and happy? Is that the yes, problem? it's either a crisis or... Isaac Hayden has had a couple of bad games, missing his preferred partner in centre midfield, yeah. is now a bad footballer. Yeah. When clearly he's not. He's a very good footballer, actually. Mm. He's he's I like him a lot. 19? Hayden? He's like James he's Pritch. silly good. young. <sighs> that, are you just saying that? have to ruin it every time. No, it's you? true. James not, Pierce I'm, was I'm, good. He wasn't. James Pierce was good. He was mediocre and had a few good games. Mediocre. Do you know who else did? Jim McLenn, was he good? Jim Clarence Acuna, was he good? Clarence Acuna was Clarence good. Clarence Acuna, no. Did a job. Did a job. Nobody, good story. Nobody, like, nobody, he was a pirate and crashed into the bridge. But yeah. Not a good player. Nobody kept the ball like Clarence Acuna. Nobody rocked an Alice band like Clarence, Clarence Acuna. Acuna. He yeah. was an ugly man. See out of his face. Yeah. What's left, left if you can find it. He's the best, best Chilean we've ever had, other than the Rebello no, brothers. <laughs> Plato. Um, so you wouldn't let the cell go even if the money was good? <sighs> Wait, it depends, doesn't it? What, Kieran Clark? He's class. Don't say this, because I've been, think, I've been think everyone's good. Oh, he's world class, Kieran Clark. It's not like who, was, who looked solid as hell was last time we were down in the championship? Steven Steve Taylor. Taylor. And Mike Cam- Williamson. And Mike Cam- Williamson. Cam- this is what I mean. It's the gap, the gap, the step up that Kieran Clark will just make his head go. Yeah. Like well, this is what we've said, isn't it? This is very clearly a team assembled. I don't think we'll be for this playing league. that much in the Premier League. He will. Won't he? I wouldn't be surprised if he turfs out half of the. It's just we need to settle down with his. You know, he has been very good, but he's been you know, steady. He's been he's been good. Mike Williamson was good last time we were down, and then look what happened there. I don't remember Mike Williamson being good in the championship. He looked oh, good. He, he was, was just the first six months we got him. He was absolutely steady incredible. Steady Eddie did yeah. everything so simply. We've been I subjected. Don't anything positive. It was a breeze for him. We've been subjected to Fitz Hall and Zurab Kishinashvili for when Colachini was great. He was great. Great. All right. But Williamson looked a step up. We thought he had. Uh, he he had, had white th- boots on. He had three England caps written all over him. He did. He should have got the World Cup in 2014, though. No, he shouldn't. He should have done. Yeah. As the coach stop driver, again. Maybe. No, he did the Cruyff at West Ham, the tackle against Ben Teke. And he put Vardy on his arse, and everybody will remember him for that, <laughs> but not. Just not being able to that kick That was the, the year after. That anyway, was with we're not going to say... Is he still at Wolves? Yes. I think so. I think. Think. He plays, I, he's injured. He was injured yeah. on the eve of the game against us. Would you have like him back? Just before, anyway. Would you have him back? No. No. If we lost... If... I mean, we're getting silly now, but if LaSalle ends up going to Chelsea, would you, would you take... <laughs> would you take... <laughs> 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 if LaSalle goes to Chelsea, we would have to have one of their young kids. Hey, apparently Terry's available for loan. I was reading this morning. I had a born mouth. So that's what Maybe there's a little sw- switchy route if you play it there. Big JT. Not having Nathan Aker. Nathan Aker. Nathan Aker. Nathan Aker. Aki, I like two. They've, reco- they've recalled Called him. Chelsea. So have we're not going to buy I'll him. him. I'll have him next season. He looks like a perennial know, pony. It's not. It's not always to like. It's hard. Have them. It? They might be using him as like a mate waiting a deal. It's hard to come up with names in it because you want Premier League players, but also want players to get up. Yeah. I would that never have sense. said buy Wayne Routledge when we did and he was a good signing, which is why I think we should sign Tommins. I think we should sign cleverly. I wouldn't mind. What? We need another Shelby. Um, That's the main what thing. What about Stewie Downing? 
What about Stu Donnelly? We've been linked. We have Premier a League calibre. Matt Ritchie might remember that he's magic soon and like actually play a good game. And try and so take a player him, on. Yeah. What's up? Is he's Matt Ritchie, is Matt Ritchie gone backwards in the last few games? He just hasn't had a good game. He still does flashes of brilliance, but he's just not, not the same player as he was 10, ten games ago. Gufran as well when looked like being the oh, he's linchpin. Right, since he's done his hair, isn't it? He's crap. Uh, that is something. Yeah, Yedlin's had the same problem actually as well. Something's gone wrong there with the dye. Seeped into his brain. Robbed him of his intelligence and his endeavour. I don't think... I think <laughs> he, <laughs> only ever, he only ever had endeavour. He was. He's one of them players who's based Gufran. only on industry. He's got no brain. He when has. when Gufran was good, he was solely based on industry. Then he stopped being based on industry and was absolutely hopeless. Yes. I just think he's like the the epitome of mediocre. I wouldn't I wouldn't like mediocre. Yeah, I wouldn't uh, bat an eyelid. If, uh, eyelid. 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 If he left as well, actually, in Gufran. January, as long as we've got somebody out wide. I prefer I don't playing think Atu because Atu makes us excited and angry at the same time. I, Gufran I just makes us like... He's so hot and cold. Oh, he is. I know he is. He's Although, low I, was, low. I, was I, was I say it all the time. He's looking at his statistics today, Christian Atu. Because I think it's his birthday or something. Um, he's played seven yeah. starts, three to goals. To do that on everyone's birthday. Yeah, I'll, let you, I'll just let you know. Seven seven starts, three goals? Yeah. Not too bad. That's not... You can't but shake like, a stick, can you? What all the stats be for, for take-ons and... Oh, his take ons are all right. He's I ha- successful passes after take ons are not very this good. This is something we need to address as he well. He finds his yard. The well. absolute acapotness of some people's reactions when somebody misplaces a pass. <laughs> Can everyone just calm down? But why? What's happened? Like f- I, I, I allow. I say people should be able to boo or criticize or whatever. You're very, mu- you're very much in that. I've paid my money. Exactly. Account. Yeah. But. but see, there's, there's worse things going on in the world. I, I would never boo passing. Like I know there is, but you're not thinking. The oh, reaction, God, a Syrian crisis. Hang on, lads, stop playing. Paul Dummett put the ball out of play. Exactly. There's worse things going on. It, I wouldn't boo that. <laughs> I would if it was Dummett, obviously. I would already be booing him anyway. But passing a football as a footballer is bread and butter. You should not I know, ever but feel. We that. can't. We can't say what it's like to pass a football in front of fifty thousand people. It's true. Your arse would go. If it does, you shouldn't be on the football pitch. Very true. I mean, but yeah, but the, still. The hyster- I don't like this, whole, this that whole idea that football teams are like emotional mood rings where if the crowd's like, oh, the players will be like, oh, I can't get myself motivated here, lads, I'm going to have to go and have a lie down. But they're fighting for our badge and our lad, mate. But they're not. <laughs> they're playing for their 20 grand a week. I just think it's t- it's too much. Just, everyone just I think people five. just love to moan. Yes. A lot of and people a, do. a footballer giving them an excuse to moan. Is great, but you know what? Yeah, because they're they're like supposedly better than us, and when they're not, it's like get in. I'm better than you. <laughs> but what what's worse than booing at football matches? Somebody going, well, you shouldn't boo, should you? On Twitter afterwards, or is that is that worse? It is worse. We've, all, worse? we've just become a bunch of arseholes this season. Our though. fans are absolute awful. Arseholes. Yeah, the amount of watching the hashtag. Oh, nice ones that watch this. So. Ah, we love you, subscribe. But, <laughs> But like, share and it's, a, it's a 50-50 split of like people who go on the match and watch the match and then complain about it and talk about it and have fun and that. And people who are like, well, you can't do that. Let's go. You for can't do this. Rapping. You need to have this trail of thought. You can't say that. It's just like... Yeah. I, I know I've just said fans shouldn't boo passes. I, I, I agree, with, I agree with you, with. Simon. People should be able to do what they want if they pay their money. However, my personal preference is always to support the team. Yes. I support the team. I criticise them afterwards. Which I've, is what I've, should I've, be I've, I've sat within spitting distance here. Ah, yeah, I know, yeah, but I criticise the linesman more than anyone. Hey, well, I don't, I've good. never booed. I just shout. Shouting's fine. This is good. And though, the isn't fact it? that people like are, are being told on Twitter, shut up, I'm talking, that uh, you shouldn't boo, you shouldn't react, and then you wonder why St James's Park is like a library most of the time. We're told when to clap. Who to clap for? This needs to what stop. What not to boo? Yeah. I've, I've just said when fans don't want, but this needs to stop. Can we sh- can we officially take a line on this? Tip. Like we got some the applause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, we killed the mood there. I don't I, I don't think it should be done. I I just I think the first that first season was enough. Yeah, and well, the families the so families have asked says. people not to do it exactly, and we're still doing it. It was a lovely it, yes, gesture. It was, it was great. It was great. But trying to one up each other in grief, grief top trumps yep. is not something that should be happening. Yeah. And clubs I, are going to do it all just, the time. I think it just needs to end now. Does it? It doesn't mean 
that the people involved have forgotten in any way, shape, or not form. at all. It's just we've we've you know we've done that now. I think everybody should try. I and thought it would have ended when we scored in the seventeenth minute. Still haven't done it. Didn't no, we did. No, we did. Uh, uh, it was this season. I can't remember. Some championship. Was. I was there. It was good. Some championship team. We were applauding, and then Dwight Gale scored. Where he scored is that, Rick? Yeah. Was it Birmingham? He's got a couple of those, hasn't he? Birmingham. Mm. I think. But it just it needs to wait. NUFC fans are officially asking NUFC fans for to stop clapping. It needs Consider to stop, stop now. Stopping it, yeah. Consider stopping. Consider just re- reflecting quietly to yourself. Not quietly. You cheer. Have a Don't chance. Do though. I have a chance. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Six foot, <laughs> six foot two eyes of blue. Darren Peacock's coming for you. Where's that come from? My mate made it up. Tried to sing at the match. Six and foot two. N- nobody eyes joined of in. Blue. Darren Peacock's coming, coming for, for you. you. Yeah. What tune is that? It was just made up. So it was, that was it. So it was six foot two. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. the chance. Come How? On. Confident are we for the rest of the year? Not just the season, the year. Let's do an annual one. Are we first of all are we confident we'll go up? Yes. Yes. Are you remotely bothered if we go up as champions? No. Not particularly. Does, like does it, it matter? Because the league themselves don't care about the trophy. Did it after last season's the de- debacle? Yeah. Burnley won the. I don't really follow this. Burnley won the league him. and they had the trophy halfway between, and Burnley didn't get lifted the trophy on the final day. Did they not? As a Sean Dyche fan, you must have been outraged I at that. Pot. Apoplectic. Cross. Sean Dash. The day he becomes our man. He's the natural success at the Rath Rath thing. Anyway. Um, but does that it might be the most champions? spurious thing you've ever said in your life? Really? Yeah, that's worse than... I mean, today... That's worse than, worse than Mike Williams says she got the World Cup. And James Perch is James good. James Perch is good. Were you on, were you on Shola? Shola? Shola's good. Shola wasn't good. He was awful. No, he, he was, was awful. Good. That's yeah. the most spurious thing I've said. <laughs> um... Yeah, so, does it matter? Would it not at all? Is it arguable that Benitez has sort of failed this year if we don't like romp this league and go a bit of canna? Or is it literally no, just get a, back up? Get out the take, league. That was the, the league, that was the mod- the model. Would you take the playoffs? No, nah, not a chance. We wouldn't go. The most Newcastle thing ever is just losing in the yeah playoff final playoff side. to the sixth place team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. to Leeds. Be good, good day out though, wouldn't it? Nope, no, nope. be awful. It would be, be like a derby until ten to five. It would be, and then what oh, time it kicks off again? I don't follow this level. No, that's when we lose. That's when we lose. Right, okay. It's generally when a three o'clock kickoff finishes, isn't it? Yeah. And the playoff finals are three o'clock kickoff? Probably. No. See, there we so go. I think some of them are oh, early ones. Um, They'll be on a bank holiday, though, won't they? Uh, they be, Monday, the Monday are you night. confident we'll go up? Mm-hmm. Would, it, would it almost be worth finishing second to see Chrissy Hewton win the league? No. God. The vilification of that man. We'll give him a clap next season. He's, I know, yeah. 16 In minutes. In the first minute, that's for Chris Hewton. Just one clap. He's number one. One of them big Iceland claps. But he's not, he's not the messiah, him like, is no, he? he's just a lovely bloke. He got us out of the league, which was great, and then he shouldn't he struggled have been badly in the Premier League. Oh, get off, we're 11th. We just beat Arsenal yeah, no, and no. Sunderland 5-1. Yes, those, those were good, and the Aston, <laughs> the Aston Villa result was good, but then the rest of the games in between, everybody forgets. We're 11th. We're, we're 11th. all crap. I don't first care. season Should we be first? We're just going back up. No, I'm not having it. He was not, he was not great. We've just gone back up, and they gave him James Perch in the summer, and he got exactly. him 11th. So it was your fault. Yeah, I think he was doing reasonably quite well. He was well. doing bloody fantastic no. for what he had. He, he, he just obviously he was he was out of his depth completely. It was the he same as the what he doing. He was. He absolutely was. <laughs> you got it. I think you'll see it next season when when if, it, if and when Brighton go up. I don't think Brighton will go up because I think they'll, they'll catastrophically implode. And he had a first. summer where he had everyone taken away from him. Yeah. And then he got 103 points or whatever. And then he, he was had. 11th. He didn't have everybody taken away from him. who. Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy left. <laughs> Jeremy Andy left, Carroll left in January. Nolan left. I mean, we went down, man. That, that down. summer. All oh, right, every good. They should all went. More of them should have went. Anyway, yeah, anyway, yeah, no, no it's all right. Chris Chris Hume, Hume, yeah. he's, he's an all right. He's I'd all like right bloke. If we don't win the he's league. A lovely he's bloke. still got his black and white hair as well. He'll have a statue outside St James's Park. He will. And everybody be like, you're being being silly. And I'll be like, well, no, no, he was shit. No. Turning me back. <laughs> he, in wasn't the really, he wasn't shit. It's just it's the same as applauding people who have just put in a mediocre seventy minute shift. Oh great! Place for Newcastle. Give I'm them telling the fans this. to do what, what they need to do again. We need to stop this. No, that's fight. I hate this culture. You need to do this. <laughs> we've just we've said don't I'm do it. Not we've saying, done it all. I didn't say don't do it. I'm saying you're a f- an idiot Flipping. if you do do it. <laughs> So I? So, uh, Chris Eaton, mixed, mixed, <sighs> mixed, uh, mixed, great uh, mixed feelings. Mixed nice feelings. man, good manager. Get a nice man, unproven manager. 
No, he's not unproven. He's just not. <laughs> he's just not like the best. Or he'd have a job in the Premier League. And he's tried several times to get one and like failed. He's gonna get. I mean, he's above. He's above us at the minute, you know. And he is, <laughs> but that's through, that's through our failure, as opposed to his. No, he's been quite good. He's been quite good. Hasn't he? Do you think the Brighton bubble will burst? God, I got that. First They've got time. Glenn Whelan scoring loads of goals for them. Murray. There's something wrong. Mur- Murray. Murray. Glenn Whelan. They've got Eugene stuck, Bong at left back, and that's all you need. Is that good name. true? Good Eugene name. Bong. Is that Fantastic true? Fantastic name. Mate. He's got dreadlocks as well. Eugene Bong. Eugene Bong. How have I missed this? Fantastic left back. I think it would be very good if we signed Anthony Knockout because then we're that's signing good. somebody and taking somebody. Oh, he was away. crap when we played them. Though. It I was. Yeah, he's been good at every other game. I do. I do think Brighton have done well, but I think all they've done is they've had more than one plan, like we haven't. We have no plan B. We don't have a plan at all. B, yeah. And Bright- Brighton are like quite resilient and they're quite adaptable, but we're not. But why aren't we adaptable? I don't have no we've got, idea. We've got a Literally good size no squad. Idea. We've got lots of players who do different things in similar positions. If you think about it, we've got two completely polar opposite fullbacks, centre back, four four centre backs who, com- who play completely different yeah. ways. A, a, well, probably not a massive selection of centre midfielders. But if, you, if you lump Vernon with that lot, He's quite different to Shelby, he's different to Why is he not playing game. at the minute? In centre midfield? He I don't should have been no Shelby's replacement. So I agree with him because he's a footballer. He can, he can pick a pass, can't I agree with you. He's got a ball on him, but... He certainly I would have been able to play the same Twitter. way. Because he does, drop, he does drop in the mm-hmm. way Shelby does. Which yeah. callback. Yeah. Callback drops in, gets the ball, and then panics on his turn. I think you'd have the confidence to do it as well. Because that's one thing about Little Vin. You often thought he was a little bit too scared to try things. No, this level he'd be up to. I know. I think ring. you'd have the confidence. He actually, he actually played in that role for Stephen Claren for a while. Yeah, at the start the, of the season when he was dropping right. back. And he yeah. played well. He was the only one that actually played well. No, but people don't remember because he's too short. And they go, oh, he's not strong enough, is he? When he never, ever gets knocked off the ball, ever. He's got an arse the size of the moon. <laughs> and it works for him. It is the size of in the moon. In all manners. It's a lovely arse. It is great. It's a fantastic arse. But I... I, I well, all that happens now when we try to change the game is we change the personnel, we don't change the system, yeah. which is not a plan B. And I love Rafa, and I'm not criticising, I'm not saying sack him because nobody did, even though people were like, Why is everybody saying sack him? I never heard just anybody invented say that, it. Just invented it on Twitter, just to get a few likes. And it's the one thing you just need to stop being like that, 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 too much stubborn, stubbornness in the minute. Exactly. Is this, like, I we need more going... centre midfielders who are, who are like different styles. I, I know that you won't play any I game. Tom Clever would be good. He yeah, he would, yeah. You convinced me to get Schneidlin, weren't you? Was no. that you? Who me. was? No, he'd never drop down. £22 time, million yeah. pound Morgan Schneidlin, I don't yeah. think we would. Oh, yeah. we might fancy it. He'll probably be straight back up next year. Sounds like Michael Potts, that. That sounds like a Magam said that. Yeah. It does. Especially as he said it in a Magam accent. Yeah. Sorry about that, yeah. It wasn't that. It wasn't me. It was someone. It certainly wasn't me. I quite like him. He's a good player. Yeah, I'd quite, I'd like, I'd quite like a £22 like, million pound I quite like the idea of Fabian well, Delph. Like that I know, was he the was one, linked to oh, it on the loan. I'd, I'd have Delph just for the Villa fans' reaction, yeah, even if we never played him. <laughs> the meltdown over that would be absolutely incredible. He's a bloody snake. It would was be lush. Was that your brummy? Aye. It's quite good. He's a bloody snake. Oh, yeah, sorry, yes, it was. I don't need to service there, Ross. It's better than most of his other accents. What's Delph's, is what's Delph's game? Box to Football. box. Energy. Drive. Big uh, tackles. Very useful then. I'd quite like him to play with Shelby, actually. He's like a little so dog, I because I was when he made his England, I don't know if it was his debut, but we brought it to the England team in Switzerland away, and I was there, and he's like a little dog. He just oh, I remember that. was his good. debut. Yeah. He's just, he was all over the shop. No? And that would be good, him and him and Hayden. On loan? Would, would he drop down, though? Because you big money. Well, actually, why hasn't he been playing in City? He's been he's just been left injured, out, he's been injured. Nah, he's been injured. And, and, uh, a bad move from him. No, no disrespect to him, but Pep Guardiola is not going to play Fabian in Delph, is he? Why not? I just don't think he is. Why not? He's not like a complete footballer. Well, also I think, he tackles. I, think, I, think he, I don't want to speak for Pep Guardiola, but I think he probably considers that Manchester City side a work in progress. Probably. And if you could bring a player of Delft's, Delft, Delft, Delft calibre in to do a job, I'm sure he wouldn't hesitate. I think he's there to, to make up the uh, English, not the English quarter. quarter. That's it. It's very cynical of you, Sam. Um, but almost certainly correct. Presumably, won't have to pay too much from him because they got his release clause. It was like eight, eight million. million yeah. We'd get him. I think we'd get him on loan if we got him on anything to start with, and then in the summer we'd we'll get him. Delph would be a good buy. I'd have. I'd have Delph. Um, cleverly, I think. Deluded, don't we? Thinking about but it. By the time we actually get, because obviously the, the idea we're getting cleverly in was he can pick a pass. We're really struggling without Chelsea. 
Well, on that note, lads, I think I think we're I think we're done. Obviously, been a terrific mess, but you don't come here for professionalism, do you? You come here for our handsome faces, exactly, and insightful opinions. I'm telling you what to do with a Z. Also, the bands with the Z. Uh, thank you very much for joining us on a long overdue NFC fans forum. As ever, we're going to try and promise to do them more, but we'll see whether that pans out in real life. I have been Adam. This has been Simon. This has been Ross. We will see you soon. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.